guys, how you doing? Back for another video. So this video, what are coilovers? Coilovers basically, in a nutshell, are adjustable suspension or suspension that is adjustable. So all coilovers will be height adjustable and most coilovers will also be damping adjustable. So there's a big range of coilover kits, a lot of manufacturers, a lot of different methods for giving the adjustability. But here are the main sort of subtypes, if you like, of coilover suspension. So you've got coilover suspension that has uh, rigid dampers. Well, let's, let's use an example. You can get collars which go around the original dampers. Basically, the collars are spring seats, adjustable spring seats. So you use the original, the car's original shock absorbers or sport shock absorbers, whatever you want or whatever you have. And then you put these co collars around it, like I said, have adjustable spring seats so you get height adjustment with the original uh, dampers. The other type is a complete kit. So you get four dampers, four springs, and it's adjustable for height only, and the dampers are fixed rate. So you have a combination of that subtype, which is springs which use a progressive spring. So sort of Voigtland is the one that springs to mind. And then you have another type which has linear rate springs. So the springs do not start off soft and go harder. Like I, like I said, linear rate, so the, the rate is constant no matter how much they're compressed. The damping adjustment can be for bump only, so you can adjust how fast the damper will compress on its own. And then you have another type of damper, you're uh, adjusting the compression and the rebound together, so you maintain the same ratio between the bump stiffness and the rebound stiffness. But me personally, I'd recommend the, the dampers that, I'd recommend coilovers which are height adjustable with an independent bottom bracket and that are damping adjustable with a bump and a rebound are, adjust, are adjusted together so you not change the characteristics of the damper when you adjust the softness and the hardness. So uh, the installation of coilovers, in many ways it's easier to fit a, a coilover suspension kit uh, compared to the car's original shocks and springs uh, for a couple of reasons. The first is when you buy the coilovers they be, they'll come pre-assembled so you don't need to bolt anything together you just take off the car's original suspension and you put on the uh, coilover but then there's subtypes of the coilovers with regards to installation so you'll have some companies which won't use um, the car's original top mount so it will be literally a complete unit from top mount from top to bottom top mount damper spring and bottom mount that'll be it'll be a complete complete kit so these companies you're going to be looking at Tane, D2, K Sport, BC, Racing are the ones that spring to mind and then you've got another type of coilovers which are which are just the the springs and the dampers and you have to use the uh, the original top mounts off the car the original top mounts that come with the car in a way that's nice because usually there's more rubber in the original top mounts so it offsets some of the discomfort that is connected to fitting coilovers but depending on the type of suspension that you have, you lose a bit of adjustment using the car's original top mount. Uh, personally, I'm neither here nor there on the top mount situation. So if I can just go back to the uh, height adjustment of, uh, the, of coilovers and the pluses and minuses of both techniques. So I said that some kits have height adjustment where you adjust the spring seat itself and others use the bottom bracket. So I've already said that I recommend the coilovers which have an independent bottom bracket. So I'll just explain why that is. When you adjust the, the spring seat to adjust the ride height, you're also altering the, the amount of travel in the suspension. So the lower you go, the less travel you have in the damper, which can lead to banging um, the car riding on the bump stops more often. Uh, that, that 
is basically the issue with uh, doing it with uh, with a spring with adjusting the height with the spring seats. There's another disadvantage with it in that you're putting preload into the spring and also reducing the amount of droop in the suspension. So if you go for a dip in the road, it's going to seem bigger the less droop you have in the suspension. Like you're going to feel the car drop into the into the dip more. So those are the reasons basically why I don't recommend uh, coilovers where you adjust the height with the uh, spring seat. Independent uh, height adjustment with a bottom bracket, doesn't matter where you set the right height, the travel is always the same. The disadvantage with that is that there's more components in the suspension because the bottom mount is separate. So that can make the suspension a little bit more expensive. But there's another option that comes with coilovers, which I didn't mention in it at the start, and that is some companies uh, supp supply um, a kit which you can put onto their coilovers, which makes the damping, the hardness and the softness adjustable from inside the car. So the, the what two companies I can think of at the moment that offer electronic uh, adjustment from inside the car are Cusco and Team. So you have a, um, a unit that mounts inside the car, which connects to four motors, each damper has one motor. It's extra expense. You're looking at about 400 euro. How much traffic do we have here? Uh, basically, so you've got the extra cost of the unit. It's another thing that goes wrong. Another thing that can go wrong. wrong. And then you've got the installation of that as well. So you're having to run power supply and signal cables to each corner of the car I don't you know that that is not a, that is not the work of a moment you know that is a big job so me personally once I find the optimum setting for the road I don't don't tend to change the damper settings you know ever again it's not something I'm constantly changing but that's just me maybe you'd want to do it and if I do ever want to change the damping, for example, do a track day or whatever, you know, I can adjust it at the track and it's, you know, it's like a one minute, two minute job. So for me, at least, the electronic suspension is just something else to go wrong, harder to install, more money, and for something that maybe I'm never going to use. So personally, I don't recommend the electronic uh, damping control. So guys, that's basically the video. What are coilovers? Um, like I said at the start, it's an adjustable suspension. It makes your suspension, the suspension on your car adjustable for height and damping. As always, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Vote on the video and I'll see you again next time.